Good afternoon. I am Eckerhardt, the German butcher. Today I want to make hot dogs. I grind it already, but I like to explain what I'm doing. I really start with the spices. I have spices from Germany yet. I don't know if you can see it. This is Wiener uh, or hot dog spices. But I add one gram per pound extra Spanish paprika, not Hungarian paprika, Spanish paprika, different flavor. I should say this, here I got four, four gram per pound in it, and the Spanish pepper got one gram added to it. And then I use two gram phosphate. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Then I have here 14 pounds of uh, venison meat, 40, 14 pounds of pork fat. I grinded it first to the 13 millimeter, and then I have the 2 millimeter in there. So now from the, now on goes into the cutter, or the buffalo cutter. Now I have the buffalo cutter ready to use them. You will see how that works in a few minutes. First, I put the lean meat through the machine first, and then I mix it, the fat or lean, and it goes one more time in it. I turn the machine off so it can hear better. I forgot to mention before, I had four and a half pound of lean meat and I put three pound of ice in it. So you know how much ice I put in. And I turned it on now, that's the way it looks with the fat in it. So that's the finished product. Now I cleaned up all the mess I made before and now it comes stuffing the sausage in casings. I have here my sausage stuffer. That's a 50 year old machine. I want to show what it looks like a little more. And back here I have four casings, the smallest I can buy, medium sized uh, sheep casings, small sheep casings. And for the small sheep casings, I use the smaller tube, otherwise it wouldn't work. Then I put a bigger tube on it. Now I want to show quick the ones that are tied already. And there you can see those are the smaller ones, those are the bigger ones. I should say this, the smaller casings, they were still the way I bought them somewhere else and they break a lot. Those are the better ones and there is no problems. I don't know if you know how it goes. In the front you hold it, the casings, and with the left little finger you are pushing forward. So you they don't get too tight on it. And if you get a air in there, or you take a knife and knock it a little bit. We do that in the butcher shop long, long time ago already. put it fast enough forward. That goes in my mouth. Very good. Can't wait till they come out of the smokehouse. Good morning. Now the next morning, 
Last night I put all my hot dogs in uh, glasses or jars, but I'd like to explain what I did. I did not take a movie. I was tired. I uh, Once I had them all stuffed in casings, I put them in a smokehouse. Smokehouse means hot smoke. Hot smoke means uh, 150 to 180 degrees Celsius, not more. Otherwise, they bust on you. And then after one hour, when they're nice and red, it should take about one hour, then I put about 10 minutes smoke underneath. But still only 150 degrees. That should have take about 10, hour, 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, then they go in, in the jars. If you don't want to put them in jars, then you put them in a hot water bed. Now I want to show you what I really did. Those are the fine hot dogs. This is uh, the coarse hot dogs that's back there. And as a cold cut, those are the bologna as a cold cut, or, or hot dogs as a cold cut. The idea is when I make potato salad, I need that. So I want to show you once my uh, Call it yachtwurst, you can call it summer sausage, whatever you want, it's very similar, tastes very good. Then there's regular bologna, and I should say this, this time they're much, much finer than last time, because I sharpened the knife in the buffalo cutter. Really happy with that. And here I got uh, regular hot dogs, I want to cut them once, the long way. They are nice, and they taste very, very good this time. The recipe or the spices I got already in the beginning, I think. I used some old jars, but there was something else in before. In general, it works pretty good, but sometimes there's some water cooked out. Then you have to use that one first. And I will use it again. Those are already used a few times. I had to quit for a while because I had a sausage in my mouth. Very, very good. So now they are those are in jars. And when they are, like I said, we had enough water in, we got to watch out. They can hold for a year in the fridge, but they got to go in the fridge. They cannot be outside because they're not brought up to 100 degrees or uh, not to boiling. It means 200 degrees. If you put, make, put them 200 degrees, they would, uh, hot dogs would bust on it inside. So I don't want that. So it will hold for a while. Now I have enough. I can rest for the summertime. I almost forgot I want to show how they slice. I slice them real thin and it looks very, very good and very, I'm very happy with the texture. And this one is good. Could have been a little more coarse meat in it for me. Now I showed you my sauces. They're very, very good. I had a successful day yesterday. If you like my movies, subscribe and tell your friends.